I've heard it said that being born is like being thrust onto a stage mid-show. And not having any clue what you're supposed to do, you just follow what everyone else is doing. You listen to the directors, and the other actors, and they all tell you where you need to be on stage, what your lines are, who your character is, and eventually you just follow along and you know what part you're supposed to play and try to play it as well as you can. You worry and stress over putting on a good show. How embarrassing would it be if you screwed up on stage or said the wrong lines or completely forgot your part? You mustn't disappoint the audience. They expect a good show. And so you take this lifelong act very seriously, never breaking character, never adding a little of yourself to the parts you play because you're afraid of screwing up. Then one night, as this long show continues, one of the actors, who before was so preoccupied with his own role in the play that he had never bothered to look, well, he takes a quick peek out at the audience. And he is startled to see that there is no one sitting in the seats, absolutely no one in the theater, save, of course, for the troop of actors who are all timidly walking to and fro on stage, repeating meaningless lines to one another over and over, being completely miserable. They all look so serious about this play, and the director is watching with a careful eye to ensure everyone remembers their parts, and the one man takes another look out at the empty theater and laughs, and he forgets everything that he was taught, and begins to move on his own. He begins his own dance, his own song, his own speech and he directs it to the emptiness. With a smile on his face, he realizes that the stage is his to express himself before the great indifference of the phantom audience. And while the other actors begin to ignore this man, while the director is red in the face and screaming at him to get back to where he is supposed to be, the man instead focuses on figuring out how best to play himself. All the world is a stage, and no one is watching. Except, of course, the other actors. But why worry about impressing them? They are too caught up in their make-believe play. Their judgments should mean nothing to you. No matter what anyone says, whether they be your parents, friends, teachers, society in general, there is nothing that you must do while you are alive. No one gets to decide your role. You are the only one who, gets, who knows how to play yourself on this vast stage because in the end, it doesn't matter what you did. There is no reason to be afraid of being yourself, of acting like a fool on stage and making mistakes and screwing up because there's just no one watching. You can express yourself fully and unconditionally and people may laugh at you or mock you but they do so out of fear and pride because they are still very concerned with their lives being successful, with being rewarded somehow for a job well done on stage, but there will be no one to hand out praise or critique at the end. And when you exit the stage, wouldn't you like to do it with few regrets, knowing that you did things your way? Will you really be happy with yourself if you acted as someone you're not the whole time? As Oscar Wilde says, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. So laugh, smile, dance, sing, do whatever it is that makes you you, that makes you hum. Because remember, none of it matters. This isn't serious, and no one is watching.